we're going to take a look at something called cross rates. And that idea, we're not going to look at the, the ratio of two goods in a country, but we're going to look at the ratio of one currency. And then we're going to look at a second ratio of another currency versus another. And the idea is that we can use these ratios to figure out what uh, the value of a third currency should be. So it's sort of like, you know, if you know two sides of this FX triangle, you can figure out what the third exchange rate should be. That's the idea uh, behind cross rates, cross exchange rates. So let's take a look at um, the Hong Kong dollar. Um, Hong Kong, the Hong Kong dollar is abbreviated by this HKD, three letter ISO code. And the Hong Kong dollar is interesting because it's what's called pegged to the US dollar. The, um, the sort of central bank of Hong Kong, the monetary authority there, manages the currency, um, controls its currency, so that it never fluctuates by very much in relation to the US dollar. So the Hong Kong dollar pegged to the USD, um, and let's say right now that uh, it's pegged at 7.82 Hong Kong dollars uh, to one US dollar. So if I go into the market, the spot market, pretty much guaranteed, uh, whether it's today, whether it's tomorrow, or it's the next day, this, I give them one dollar, I'm gonna get an exchange, 7.82 Hong Kong dollars. Okay, um, so we know the exchange rate between the Hong Kong dollar and the US dollar right now. Let's suppose, though, that we're looking at the Chinese yuan. Separate currency, Chinese yuan. Uh, the ISO code for that is going to be RMB, remnant, remnant B. And um, let's suppose that it goes from 8.27 RMB per one USD to 8.13 RMB to USD. So first of all, can you see whether the currency has appreciated or depreciated the Chinese yuan? And the answer is that it's appreciated because it takes less to uh, buy $1, or another way to say that is $1 used to buy more RMB, and now it doesn't go as far. It buys fewer RMB. So the RMB has appreciated in value against the US dollar. So we know um, the exchange rate between the Hong Kong dollar and the US dollar, and the exchange rate between the RMB, the Chinese yuan, and the US dollar. But then the next question, what if we wanted to know the value of the Hong Kong dollar uh, against the yuan, and specifically after it's changed from 8.27 to 8.13. So the question is, uh, how did the value of the Hong Kong dollar change, Hong Kong dollar change against the Chinese yuan? Okay, so if the question is really, we want to know this number, and we want to know that number sort of before and after the Chinese yuan, the RMB changed. And the answer to that would be to take this number here and notice that this one also has the same denominator. They're both against the USD. And so we can take that ratio of Hong Kong dollars to US dollar, divide that by the ratio of RMB to US dollars to get our kind of 
before appreciation value of Hong Kong dollars versus Chinese yuan. That's the cross rate. And that gives us a value of 0 0.94. They don't have cents there, but this is sort of the equivalent. Uh, HKD per one Chinese yuan. And to see where it's gone after, we do the same thing, except we're looking at, well, the Hong Kong dollar hasn't changed versus the US dollar, it's pegged. But the Chinese yuan has changed. And that's gone up in value, appreciated to 8.13, resulting in a new exchange rate of 0 0.91, uh, sorry, 9, nine six one nine. Hong Kong dollar versus Chinese yuan. And so what do you think? Um, has the Hong Kong dollar appreciated or depreciated relative to the Chinese yuan? Okay, and then the answer is that the Hong Kong dollar has depreciated against the Chinese yuan. Here we see one Chinese yuan at the beginning, we're buying 0 0.94 Hong Kong dollars. But then later, one Chinese yuan buys more 0 0.96 Hong Kong dollars. So the yuan has gotten stronger. And in other words, the Hong Kong dollar has depreciated in value against the Chinese yuan.